This is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and the Plural Site Author. Before I continue with the video, a small information. If you are new for .NET and a Plural Site subscriber and wanted to learn ADO.NET in detail with examples, then please watch my course ADO.NET by Examples at Plural Site for better understanding of ADO.NET. In this video, we shall understand how to throw an exception from an expression. Yes, you have heard the try right? throwing an exception from an expression. In C Sharp 7, we can directly throw exceptions from any statement. This is really a cool feature. Now let us understand how to use this feature in C Sharp 7 application. Let me first add the class with a proper name for example throws in expression demo and let me click on add button now let me define a class name where i wanted to maintain the details of the first name and last name so let me type in public string first name public string last name and i would like to define a constructor to initialize the name so let me type in public name of string f name string l name first let us understand what we used to do in the previous versions to initialize the values by verifying if the values are null or not so let me type in if of f name not equal to null then first name equal to f name else throw new argument null exception of param name name of f name and similarly if l name is not equal to null then last name equal to l name else throw new argument null exception of param name colon name of l name and now let me add an entry point for our application and then now let me create an object for the class name so let me type in name myself equal to new name of shaker comma srinivasan now let me display the values so let me type in console dot right line of dollar name colon myself dot first name myself dot last name now let me save this file and set this class as the startup object and execute the application we can observe the name shaker srinivasan now let me change the value of the last name as null and once again let me execute the application we can observe an exception has been thrown in the previous code if we observe since we are not in a position to raise an exception within an expression we need to handle that way now from c sharp 7 onwards we can raise an exception as a part of an expression itself so let us observe how to write that code first let me comment the previous code and now let me type in first name equal to f name question mark question mark throw new argument null exception of param name colon name of f name and similarly last name equal to l name question mark question mark throw new argument null exception of param name colon name of l name in the above lines of code i have used c sharp 6 null operator that is double question marks now once again let me change the last name as srinivas and once again let me execute the page we can observe the name as shaker srinivas now let me change the last name value as null and execute the page we can observe an exception has been thrown this feature i liked a lot because whenever i wanted to raise an exception it is quite easy for us to handle that even from an expression hope you got a fair idea on how to throw an exception from an expression hope you will enjoy my videos as much as i enjoy in producing if you like this video please give a like share or comment and do subscribe my channel this encourages me to produce more videos thank you all happy programming